Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am kind of sick today. I feel like I'm getting the flu, but I decided to just push that aside and go ahead and record the audio for this video that I took a while back. But before I get into that, there's a couple changes that I made to my channel to make it more appealing. I did update my cover photo. I updated the profile picture, but that one I still have another idea in mind that will hopefully look better than that one. And I added a little intro to it with my two dogs. So the intro kind of consists of Ghost as a puppy, Ghost as a teenager, because he's only 10 months at the point I'm recording this audio. And then it goes into Fan where he was a puppy. He's a little bit older now, he's a year. So it kind of goes into those pictures. And then photos of them together, uh, they always nap with each other. So I thought that was a little cool. Um, I'll be messing around with stuff like that just to kind of get more hands-on experience with it. Uh, I haven't posted in, I think, two weeks at this point, mainly because of finals. You know, I'm a full-time student, and I go to full-time work, and I'm a full-time dad to these two dogs. So, yeah, that kind of piles up. So I didn't really have time to edit videos or anything, but uh, for today's video, I decided to record myself a while back running with my two dogs. Now, the only problem I had with this was that as I was running, you can actually see my hands throughout the video. That's mainly because the Osmo has such a wide field of coverage that it's really impossible not to have your hand throughout it a couple of times. But I tried to work around it. You know, I was running with my hands down low. This video, uh, we did run three miles in the video. Now, I get it a lot of it so it took us about 30 minutes because they like to stop and they like to smell stuff and pee and whatnot so I actually have to cut a lot of the video out and as you'll see Ghost is such a natural runner Ghost is ex excellent when it comes to running doesn't matter how long we run doesn't matter how fast we run Ghost always keeps up um, just for those of you who don't really know Ghost is a Dogo Argentino I have some people in person come up and tell me that, wow, that's a giant pit bull. He's really tall. And I'm like, no, well, he's not a pit bull. He's a Dogo Argentino. So he is at this point in the video, nine months. He's about to turn 10 months in two days. On the 30th of November, he turns 10 months. So he is physically, I mean, this dog is amazing. You know, he runs and runs and runs and when we get home, he goes straight to bed. And then about I'll feed him like an hour later after the run just to make sure that they're cooled down and, you know, they're not breathing too fast or anything. Then you have Fen on the left side for most of the part of the video where Fen is a Blue Bay Shepherd. He is a low-content wolf dog. Low-content meaning that he's below 50% wolf. He embarked at 38% when I did his DNA test. So you will notice that Fen is most of the time either behind the ghost or like next to him. He never actually passes ghost. And most of the time you'll see ghost having to run. And you see the collar on Fen is being pulled to the side. That's mainly because he has a lot of fur. But... It's if I constrict the collar too much, his fur overlaps the collar and it looks very weird. So I, I loosen the collar, which looks fine when he's when he's not running. But as they're pulling it, that X's hair squishes and his little scrawny neck actually shows uh, because he's actually really skinny. Like you see him next to Ghost and he looks big. But in reality, Ghost is 94 pounds right now and Fen weighs in at 85 pounds so ghost being shorter is actually more muscular than fen but fen looks a lot bigger because of all that fur and all that coat Right here in this clip, you'll see that I moved my dogs to the side uh, because there's a person running. So I tend to do that because I want to make sure that me, I'm the person running with two dogs, you know, two large dogs. And if you're a dog owner, you're 
most of the time your dogs don't look large to you. Like to me, they don't look that large because I'm used to them. But somebody else running towards me is going to see this giant freaking wolf and this, you know, beefy dog coming towards them in a leash, you know, <laughs> that I'm not holding. So I always make sure to grab them, tug them so that they're aware like, hey, okay, all right, let me slow down. And then I let the person pass to the side. And sometimes if they're a family, if they're kids or if they're more, I actually walk to the side of them or I pause and I let them pass because it's the right of way, you know. I don't. I want to make sure that the people running or the people walking aren't afraid of my dogs and I don't want my dogs to... Some people don't like dogs sniffing them and that's fine. I, I respect that. Some people do. Some people will go ahead and want them to, to give them love. Um, but here, you know, we're almost done with the video at this point. I'm trying to keep these running videos short just so because nobody wants to see a 12 minute video of me running with my dogs, right? Um, but in this part, there's a dog barking to us to the left and he barks at us all the time. He's, he's a, I don't know what, what kind of, he's a hound. I know that, but he, he always barks and I always make sure that my dogs are contained. You know, I don't want any problems with them. But this is the end of the three miles and this is the end of this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll be posting weekly from now on. So thanks for watching.